Hello once again, Internet. I am Razanak7, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, Episode 11. In the last episode, we defeated Amorbus in the Dark World, obtained the super awesome Dark Suit, and returned the light to Aether. Now, we are going to head to these little side rooms really quick, so we can take a look at what kind of things are available to us now. Because I completely forgot to do these sooner. First we're gonna head off into the dark door, and oh boy, I remember this room all too well. As you can see, there's a, there is an energy tank up there, so we're gonna try and get that. Be careful of that platform there, because it will fall when you... well, it will break when you roll over it. Just bomb these pill bugs, and now, here you're going to have to do a double bomb jump. So, simply do as I do here. Um, I don't know if I actually cover this, but I'll actually walk you through it now. So, you place your bomb, and then at the very, at the height of your, of your first jump, place a bomb again, and then pr place another one as soon as you land, like this. I actually screwed that up, but I'll show you again anyway. So, one, two, three, and there we go. That's your double bomb jump. Hop up here again, roll over that platform, and now, these are all gonna break under you, or well, they're gonna fade under you, apparently. And just keep rolling to the left. Go up one more, up one more again, and now when you fall down here, hold left. Ah, oh, god dang it, I didn't keep holding left again. I fail at life. Where am I? Oh, right, okay. If you screw up there, just head back to the right kill these stupid pill bugs because I hate those little buggers. Give me your life. There we go. Om nom nom energy. Okay. Yeah, doing... This can be a... I, uh... You know, I really should have practiced this game before, do, before doing an LP of it, but that's not really how I work. I totally screwed that up. Screwed that one up, too. Jeez. You don't really need like, frame-perfect timing for, for the double bomb jump, but it does require at least being a little precise. So don't worry if you're not too good at that type of thing. Oh, oh, right, right. Right after you roll into this little spot here, stop. You need to do a bomb jump before the edge, and then come up here, and then there you go. Energy tank. And that makes four. Cool beans. And you drop down one more time and keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. And you will come across... Ooh, this is a type of door we haven't seen yet. There's a blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is powered by five energy pods nearby. Destroy all five pods at once to remove the blast shield. Okay, well, let's try and do that. Eh. Eh. I don't know they can be broken with missiles, but... They come back almost immediately. So as you can see, we clearly can't do that yet. We're going to have to come back to that at kind of a later point. And honestly, that what you used to break that, I really wish you got a little sooner because it's actually a really cool power-up and I wish they did more often. Well, at least they did sooner, I mean. But I'll get on into that more a little later because for the time being, we have a light door to go through. So we're going to head back all the way back out here, for some reason this door is... I kind of wish that... for this game, where you still have ammo for everything, I wish that the doors did kind of like they did in Super, where after you open them the first time with the weapon required, they would just become plain old blue doors. I mean, it's not a really big deal in this game, because like I said earlier, getting, new, getting more ammo is actually pretty easy. But, oh yes, check this out. Remember those kinetic orb, ca orb cannons we've seen before that were just kind of like these little tiny shots and not really impressive at all? Whee! Bam! <laughs> you know, it would have been so much easier just to put in, like, a, a pathway, maybe some platforms to jump across, but nope, they decided, you know what, let's put in a giant-ass cannon instead. And I love it. Hey, what do we have up here? I can't remember if there's something actually up on top of this little thing here. For some reason, it looks like there is. I'm gonna check that really quick. Actually, I don't even know if you can double bomb jump up there. Oh, yes, you can, but there's nothing there. However, we've got this little hole back here. And 
More freaking pill bugs. Go away. I don't care. And wouldn't you know it, there's a power bomb door over here. So we can't go there either. So basically this area is just one giant tease. Now I also don't think you're actually able to go up there either, but I'm going to find out anyway. See if we can go... Um, actually, yes, actually. Actually, yes, actually. Oh, here we go. Missile expansion. So there is a point to going back here. Awesome. And now, I've actually seen that you are able to do a triple bomb jump in this game, but... Frankly, I don't know how to do it, and I've tried it a couple times, and I was really just never able to figure it out. Oh, hey, look at this. We have some more Luminoth lore. <laughs> Be Still's Testament. I can go no further. Here in this reactor, I go to join my fallen mate, Jaystil, in final rest. Though I die with honor, a shame falls on my house until the key I seek reaches its destination. May my brothers find my burden, that the way to the Sky Temple will be opened at last. Ah, the Sky Temple, you say? Very interesting. Maybe we'll find out what that is a little bit in the future. Well, of course we're gonna find out what it is, but you know what I freaking mean. Anyway, that spider ball track there. It just takes you back to the room where you fought Dark Samus. And frankly, there's really no point to doing that right now. So I'm just gonna head back through. And now, since we've done all of that, we are now going to head back to the Great Temple. And why did I change back to the power beam there? And after that, we are going to... Blah, 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 blah. I forgot my, what I was saying again. I need to stop doing that. I'm curious about what's in that room, because I cannot remember for the life of me. Is there actually anywhere else we can go? There's another purple door there that we can't do anything with. Actually, how do you get in that room? Oh, right, right. It's that again. You know what? I actually, I think, if you remember, I was when I was talking about how I got stuck in this area once. I think that's actually wise because of the weapon that you need to get into there. I somehow got, I somehow found my way in. I cannot remember for the life of me how I did it, but pfft, apparently I did. Go figure. But now, unless I come across something of interest along the way, I will see you guys back at the Great Temple. You know, now that I think about it, Dark Beam is more or less a reason for you to... a way for you to get light ammo, isn't it? So, I mean, if you think about it, the Light Beam is the only one that you actually need. Because, I mean, the Power Beam works perfectly well against enemies in the Light World. So, you don't even really need the Dark Beam at all. And so, it's only real practical use, considering it uses up ammo, is to get more light ammo. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But, as you can see, we are now back at the temple grounds. Oh, hello, hello there, Mr. Splinter. Master Splinter, oh my god. What happened to you? <laughs> I don't know, that was a really clumsy reference, wasn't it? I don't even like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't kill me, but it's true. Oh, actually, now that we have the space jump and all that fun stuff, there's actually a bunch of stuff we can do now. Ooh. Not really a bunch, but we can definitely get to some new areas. So now I'm going to head over to this area over here. And this is where the giant satellite was. So um, I'm actually going to head over right over there and go do that. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh wait, actually. Now that I think about it. No wait, you know what? Never mind. I was going to say that... Uh, Remember, at some point in this area, and I cannot remember where it is, but there's a one of those sliding thingy majiggies. There's a there's a plat there's a plat there's a there's, there's a column thingy majiggy. Ah, this one right here actually. I don't actually remember if I've done this or not. I don't think so. But yeah, shoot it with a light beam, and you can move it. Oh right, right. Of course, I haven't done this yet. There's no way I could have done it. But yes, once you have the light beam, you can just kind of plow that open, and light beam, oh, oh, right, dur, dark beam, <laughs> right, I have scanned this, of course, and out we go. Am I the only one that likes to activate the morph ball right as you go into the portal? I don't know why, I just like getting that nice little, that really quick back shot. 
I could be crazy, though. There's another one of those purple doors. Now, what else have we got around here? Luminoth subject expired 3.8 decacycles ago. The target has numerous breaches in its armor. Exposure to a toxic organic pathogen led to its demise. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, by the way, having the dark suit also makes us immune to the ing claws. Very nice. Speaking of ing, this is a collection of mutated ing worms. Bioforms have bred for massive size. It appears the ing use these creatures to block access to areas. You know, that actually kind of goes against what I said before about the ing just kind of being, well, monsters. Because, I mean, they've clearly made a conscious decision to, uh, to breed those things larger and block off certain areas. So I guess you could say that maybe they're just smarter animals. Because, I mean, apparently there's a monkey that figured out how to use tools recently. So it could be crazy. Actually, while we're in this area, now we have these space jump boots. We can use them to hop up here, and inside we'll find something special, if memory serves, here in this little hole. Please be something here. God damn it, it's only in the light world. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. But we still, we got a missile expansion, which is alright. And that's actually all there is here, because there are no doors, for some reason. They're all just completely gone. Actually, not really for some reason. That actually does make sense. Because, I mean, the doors and such were made by the Federation troopers. And the Federation troopers weren't clearly weren't here when the planet split into its light and dark halves. So, yeah, actually, in hindsight, that does make sense. Touché, game. Touché. So now we're actually going to go up and get that thingy that was up there. So just hop up onto one of these shorter pillars, onto the top one, hop over here, and hop over here. Preemptive morph ball mode, because I already know there's going to be a tubey over here. Yes, a tubey. And another missile expansion. We're just picking these things up left and right, aren't we? Awesome. How many does that make? Uh, 40 or so? 45. That was my second guess. Get rid of these stupid war wasps. I hate these guys. They can just go die. Like that, actually. Give me your life. Now, ah, uh, right. This room straight ahead. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to be. I don't know. What's up with me referencing weird stuff like that? Oh, and actually, now that we have the space jump, we can actually go through here now. Of course, get rid of these stupid splinters that, for some reason, are still annoying us. Alright, I wonder if we can do anything with this. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have any new effect. It's just kind of going to sit there. But, now we can hop up here as well. You know, it's right here. Yuna's a sophisticated stasis chamber. Xenotech designed to encase small objects in a stasis field. The field is durable, but can be destroyed by explosives. Missiles won't work, but... A bomb will. And we get another missile expansion. That brings us up to a nice 50. Very, very nice. You know, I really should look up how many missiles there are in this game. I should actually look up how, many, how much there is of everything, because I honestly don't know. I can't even tell you how many missile, how many energy tanks there are off the top of my head. And you can pretty much figure that out just by looking right now. But, oh well. There's actually something else here that we can do as well. I don't think that's a platform you can stand on, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Yep, there we go. Now from up here, there is a door, and speaking of energy tanks, look at what it... Oh, I thought there was an energy tank in here. But we do get this, so I guess that's good too. D is so... It is inside me. I feel it spreading, clawing at my will, tearing at my thoughts. It moves me against my will to this cavern. Here it will end. I do not wish this. I do not want my body to become a weapon for the ink within me. It hates. It demands obedience. I will fight it to the end. I shall self-terminate before I will be a pawn to the filthy thing. I read that incorrectly, but I really do not care. Either way, that's some more Luminoth lore right there, so... Oh, um, I don't know if I've actually specified this, but... Those Luminoth that give you the lore, the ones that are blue. 
definitely scan those guys. Even if you don't care about scans, do it. It will save you a lot of pain later. Just saying. I actually probably have mentioned that already. Probably at the first one of those guys we saw. But I'm just reiterating because it is still very important. Worth multiple mentions. Just be sure you scan all of them buggers. Now, where should we go? It's already been 17 minutes, wow. Alright, now we're gonna head over to the landing site. Head straight forward and we should get there pretty quick. Uh, if nothing happens of interest, then I'll probably just cut. I don't know if any... I don't know. We might be find something interesting to talk about. Um, actually, uh, what do you guys think of the anniversary stuff? Eh? Eh? I know it wasn't really too substantial, and I'm still annoyed at fraps. Stupid thing not recording like it's supposed to do. God dang it. But hey, you know, it's going well enough, I should think. Although, speaking of freaking well enough, um, I'm actually kind of annoyed at something. You know, actually, that would probably really be inappropriate to talk about, but let's just say I applied for something and it didn't work. And, yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed about it. But, more importantly than that, just scan through these here, and we're good to go. Close. Well, open. Right. For some reason I thought, I was just automatically thinking that moving down meant closing. That's weird of me. Oh, um, something else. I think that as the game progresses... Huh. I thought that as the game progressed, it would actually show you in the scan how much of your ship is repaired. Though actually, if you look around, you can actually see kind of some holograms and stuff going on. Well, what is that picture? Come back here. Show me what that was. I want to see that. Come here. Thank you. Oh, that's the ship. I think it shows somewhere. Well, I could have sworn it did. At least I'm going to save while I'm here. Geez, I wasn't even landed yet. Alrighty. Now, just like earlier, since we have the light beam, we can activate this pillar. And from here, we actually have to wait for it to stop moving for some reason. But once it does, you can hop up here, and, in, and up here, you will find yet another Luminoth lore. M. D. Hayes Testament. That last hit breached my armor. The poison spreads. Though I found the key, it is too late for me. Soon my light will, fa will fail. They know I'm here. They'll come to the site to plunder the key. My last stand shall be at the edge of the temple grounds. I only hope I have the strength to fight when they arrive. Sucks to be that guy, eh? Kinda sucks to be all the Luminoth, doesn't it? Even you most. I mean, he just kinda has to hang out all day. Oh, by the way, you can't actually shoot these light flyers before, while they're invisible. You just have to have pretty good aim. Which, unfortunately, I don't. Over here, what? Ah! Get out of here! Oh, uh, there's a pipe there that you can go through, but before that, I'm gonna head in this room. Just so we can kinda get our bearings of the place a little. Ooh, what are you? This is a statue of a Luminoth warrior. Age and combat have cause structural damage to the, stu to the statue, but is not in danger of falling apart anytime soon. Well, isn't that special? Luminoth subject expired 3.3 decacycles ago. Scans indicate that the Luminoth perished due to lack of nourishment. She remained at her post despite the fact that she was starving to death. Jeez, that's commitment, and god dang it, another one of these. I'm getting really sick of seeing those things. I didn't even think there were that many. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So, I guess, since we can't go that way, we're gonna take a little look in this tube. Because I like tubes. Wee! Wee! I don't know. I love doing that voice for some reason, and god dang it, we can't go that way either. Uh, fine. Be that way, game. Ruin all my fun. And I think... Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna cut ahead a little bit. 
because chances are we're not going to find anything else at this point. I'm going the wrong freaking way. Good for me. So I will meet you guys back at Umos, because we have a little bit of time before this episode is over to go do that. Hit my keyboard again. Oh, hey, actually, now that I think about it, we should head back down this way for a second. I can't I, I'm actually kind of surprised I'm remembering this. But, if you recall... Oh, jeez, you guys again? Will you guys just stop it? Really? Where's the other guy? There you are. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's actually something I didn't know. If you press Y... Um... Okay, hang on. I don't know. What the hell was I even gonna say? It was weird. The... Uh... The gu her gun expanded for a second like she was about to shoot a missile, but didn't. Huh. Oh, well. Anyway, roll back through this hole, and as you may recall, there's this one right here that you could break. So, once you finally get in the freaking... There we go. Missile expansion. There we go, and that actually should probably do it for this episode. So, next time on Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, we will be back at the Great Temple for real this time. And we shall talk to Yumos. You know, we'll hang out, chat up for a little bit, talk about what's going on. MySpace. I don't know. I have no idea what that had to do with anything. But it did, apparently. I will see you guys next time.